Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, in this video, I would like to discuss how to prevent food from sticking and burning to the bottom of your walk. Uh, for everybody who cook with a carbon steel walk with a natural surface, uh, the biggest headache is that when food is uh, stuck and burned to the bottom of your walk. Uh, so what happened? Uh, the main reason is that the walk has lost its seasoning. Uh, for those of you who are new to this, uh, let me just say a few words about seasoning. A seasoning is basically a layer of oil forming a plastic-like substance over the surface of the wok. Uh, first, I want to show you how easy for the wok to lose its seasoning. In fact, anything that dissolves oil will remove the seasoning from the wok. Uh, of course, the first thing come to mind is uh, detergent. And this is the reason why people tell you do not wash your wok uh, with detergent. Uh, however, acid is equally effective in moving oil from the surface of the wok. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to boil one cup of vinegar uh, in my Emusa 14-inch carbon steel wok. Uh, after a few minutes, I pour off the vinegar and I came back in about several hours to check on it and the rust is overwhelming. Uh, this demonstration shows you how easy for the wok to lose its seasoning. Uh, another example is boiling water in the wok. Uh, I boil some spaghetti noodle in the wok and the end result is that the wok looks pretty much no seasoning at all. Uh, therefore, it is important to keep in mind uh, cooking in the wok is a dynamic process. Uh, depending on the type of food that you cook, uh, you can easily uh, remove the seasoning from the wok. Uh, on the other hand, uh, cooking certain food actually builds seasoning in the wok. So what type of condition are this? Uh, here is an example of how frying an egg would turn an unseasoned wok uh, into a seasoned wok. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this uh, by taking the wok that I have just removed its seasoning uh, by boiling vinegar. Uh, I start by frying egg in it. Uh, as you can see, the wok is not seasoned, so the egg sticks to it badly and I pretty much ruined the egg. Uh, when I fry the second egg, uh, amazingly, uh, this egg slides freely across the surface of the wok. Uh, after frying the second egg, the wok is so well seasoned, when I fry the third egg, I hardly need to add any oil at all. Uh, here is an excellent example of how cooking certain type of food actually season the wok. Uh, so getting an appreciation of how cooking different type of food can affect the seasoning of the wok. And this understanding will be very useful in help you during stir-fry. Uh, so here is my take-home message. Uh, anytime when you heat up the oil uh, to the temperature that near to the smoking point of the oil, uh, you will season the wok. Uh, frying an egg is an excellent example uh, because as you fry the egg, the oil temperature rises and it's almost to the smoking point. In fact, you can see wisps of smoke coming off. Uh, I have developed a method called spot seasoning. Uh, basically, I create a condition uh, in the wok during the seasoning process by raising the temperature close to the smoking point of the oil. Well, uh, this is the reason that why you can season the wok uh, by simply frying an egg. Uh, as we have shown earlier, that anything that you cook will remove the oil uh, will reduce the seasoning of the wok. Uh, so when you cook food that require boiling water uh, in the wok, that will also remove seasoning. Uh, for example, if you boiling uh, water uh, in cooking vegetables in the wok, you definitely will remove the seasoning from the wok. Uh, so when you want to restore the seasoning back to the wok, a spot seasoning will do it. Uh, as we have talked about earlier, a spot seasoning is nothing more uh, than raising the temperature of the oil close to its smoke point so that it could form a polymer over the surface of the wok. Uh, since spot seasoning is so easy, so it is a good insurance policy to spot season your wok every time you start a new cooking session. Uh, because you might have cooked food previously that uh, adds seasoning to the wok, but on the other hand, you might have taken the seasoning away. Uh, so it is important to remember that cooking in the wok is a dynamic process. The food constantly interacts with the wok and change its property. Uh, by understanding what is going on uh, behind the scene, uh, you will become a better cook. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to receive notification of my future video postings. I'll see you next time.